Hi, today I want to share with you this short video about this game called Podai Wapa, which means give me the paw. <laughs> it's a game about dogs. We are working in a shelter and we're trying to find a perfect dog for each family. It's a very cute little theme and um, I haven't played a game like this before. It's a game for children and for families. It's a good take on worker placement as a first, one of the first worker placements probably for um, young children. So uh, let's start, shall we? Um, this is me, this is my doggy. Uh, there's four different dogs you can choose from. Uh, on your first turn, you will get two green family cards and you'll pick one of them. So I've got this runner here and this um, old man. And for one of those that I will pick, I'm going to have to pick a dog as well to accompany that person and to try to um, train the dog for that person. So let's say I'll take the runner. Um, and for him, I'll take this dog. Why would I take this one? Because this is the stats my dog has to have before I can actually send him home. He already starts with two blue points out of three that he has to have. Um, and I think that's quite good because then I only have one extra point to earn in this category. Uh, I could also take blindly a dog from the stack, which in that case will be this little puppy um, who starts with all zeros because all puppies start um fresh and clean with no um, stats but they also give you more points if you are able to train him but let me stay with my choice which is this little dog here and in my uh, on my turn what I'm going to do I start with five points of energy and I'm just going to move this marker here saying that my um, loyalty and bravery is already on two red is um, fitness two is patience and um, the green is patience and the yellow one is friendliness so on my turn I've got three actions to do and we do a action one at a time so I do my first action then my opponents do the first actions and then we do the second and third and so on um, on these spaces here we they can only be one person unless we have a help card that says otherwise on these two which is rest and um, the pet shop there can be any amount of players and uh, rest gives us two energy points and the pet shop gives us a help card that's what the help, what the name indicates we're actually going to help us um in the game so on my first go seeing as i have to get one extra blue point i'm just going to go here and pay two energy to get my blue point and the blue stat is now on point so um that's as much as i have to get that was my first action. On my second action, having three points left, I'm just going to go here and spend all my three energy points to get two yellow friendliness points. And as my third action, I'm just going to go to the pet shop and get a card. It's five energy points card, which is like the best card in the game, I think. So I'll just use it straight away and gave myself five energy points. And that's, that was my three um, actions. Now the marker moves to um, bowl number two and we're getting an event. An event says that the um, labyrinth, which is the green space, it's closed during this round, which is uh, very unlucky for me uh, because I would be able to train the dog if that didn't happen, but it did happen, so hey. So this is the event for the round, so I'm, I cannot go um, into that pace um therefore i'm just gonna go to get that red point which is here so i'm gonna spend two energy points to get a red point there is absolutely no point of getting more than just a required amount of points because it doesn't score you anything extra and just eats your own um, energy and as my second action i'm gonna go here to get another help card which is each training cost on the night um what's it is one energy point less so i only pay um one energy for one point or two energy for two points which is good um so that's the event oh no that's my help that's my event that's the help card so that's only for me and that's only one use um and that was my second action of my third action i'm just gonna go here and gain my two energy points back so that was around two round number three um i need an event Ah, the event. All the dogs in the shelter are changed. So I need to take all those doggies away and put three new ones. One, two, three. And let me put these at the bottom of the stack. Those are new, some new dogs. 
Right, and back to us. So round number one, I'm just gonna go here and spend my two, what was that? That wasn't zero. Spend my two points to get one um, patience point, which means all my stars are now on point to give that doggy a home. So that dog goes um, to me, and that's gonna be my scoring dog. The family goes back under the stack. Uh, by the way, this is not an action. You can do it apart from doing your actions. And now again, I'm getting um, two family cards, which is a police officer and the old man again. What can I do? This dog's... Um, I can take... I can take the older man. I'll take him. And for this man, um, I can again take either a dog from a shelter or take uh, one blindly from that. I'll just take this one. Let's play it safe. Uh, what would I get? I will get this one and he will exceed the yellow bit which doesn't really make any um, sense. So that was my first action. That's my second action. I'll start working towards that dog. So all those stats go to zero and then we change it to whatever we have. So we have two points of um, fitness already. Um, that's what we need. We need three green points. I'm just going to stay where I am. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to go Oh, this one. Okay, so I'm going to go here. And because uh, it costs me one less, I'm going to pay one energy to get one blue point. And that's all I need. That was my second action. And as my third action, I'm going to go here and pay two points for one yellow point. And I've used that one. So now um, that's it. And that's going to be round number four. And the game goes until the round number ten. And you score points for all the dogs that you manage to find homes for it's a as i said it's a really good worker placement game for children um it's um it's simple the iconography is brilliant i mean it's really clear what's what um the only text is on the cards um and as much as the um the help cards were supposed to be face down i guess with children who can play face up it doesn't really matter um and i think that's it for me um keep an eye on this one and um see you next time Bye.